Hello and welcome back to Varen Kyoto Zoo guys. Well today I didn't actually want to make an episode but I had a spontaneous idea and so I was like okay you know what I just do an episode today uh, because I had that idea and I thought okay let's not leave it undone uh, and, and just try it. So today we are going to build a mini golf course and it's going to be a flamingo walk in habitat at the same time. Um, so I mean I do know that this is a, a kind of northern located zoo which uh, most likely is um, a lot colder to you know. In, in many times of the year but however I guess it's uh, I guess it's doable in a way you know there there should be a way of having an indoor area and an outdoor area that is uh, uh, whatever don't don't annoy me um, that is going to be uh, working somehow so yeah we will do this uh, I'm I'm very much um, optimistic that we will do it now the only thing I am a bit con confused about is I don't really know where to put it so I thought first of all to put it all the way in the back because there is not that much traffic going on and we do have a staff room right quite close to it um and my, my, my point is that I I wanted to have it somewhere where we can kind of create the new area of the zoo and I have the feeling that I do want to do this over here. Uh, main reason being is I do want to get the traffic all the way down here. So we will also put down some some more lions and more interesting, appealing, more appealing animals uh, in the back here soon, so that people need to go here. And then we can also think about a monorail or maybe maybe a, a train or whatever to bring them back here. But um, yeah, I'm just about to just about to start building now. So we we keep the game running as always. What did I do? Okay, I claim the reward for that one. Uh, is there any kind of uh, I think there was like silver animal challenge at the moment, right? Um, not really sure if I did anything. Hats, blah, 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 personal contribution. Uh, so breed from the silver rated animals. Okay, so let's see. Maybe we get even a silver rated animal already here. I don't even know. So let's see. Uh, are you silver rated? Uh, not really. <laughs> not really. So that's not great. Um, but yeah, we can we can just wait for what's happening. We have a lot of animals that have high potential. So what is your issue here? Uh, what's your food corner camel? Okay, let's let's see if the food corner camel has some more zero habitat, six buildings, two staff rooms, which is that one. Okay, so you know what I do? I am. It's going to be that one, right? Okay, so there's another. Okay, we, we are going to just add another one and another one and then oh, whatever. I'm going to keep it that way and hope that fixes it. Oh, it does. Okay, let's say hello to the people. Oh, they fixed that. This is awesome. Cool. They fixed a little. This kind of the display issue here. Now let's put all of this in. Here we go. And that is the deal. All right, great. I've done that. Now this is cool. Uh, we are going to have some more fun now with this area. Also, let me skip that song. I put down some new music for us because I was a bit, not really annoyed, but I think it's time to just have some new music also going on because always the Planet Zoo music. Um, we can bring that in later on in the series again, I guess. That makes sense. So now we have already uh, three and a half minutes um, started for today's episode. Now I do want to do something rather different this time. So I want to make sure that we have... I think this food corner over here is a pretty nice uh, beginning where we can start off with. Now I want to make sure that we have, oh we cannot have a voice, sorry for that, but there we go, we need another song. Also, also, can I just skip, okay sorry that was a little uh, little break because I hit the wrong button and I started some Spotify music which is very unfortunate because that's gonna be demonetized if I don't change it so there might have been a little bit of a a harder cut in here which I'm super sorry about. Now let's start off with this area for the mini golf which is going to be and this is what I just meant I'm I'm just starting a bit differently here. Mm, we're going to put a guest gate right over here I guess so and then we're going to put another guest gate right on this corner over here so let me just see that I don't hit the benches okay that should be it that's nice and now we're going to I think we're going to have like a, a uh, well I have to see how I do this but I'm I'm starting off with the uh, concrete wall uh, reason for that is I want to make sure that I uh, I have a certain steadiness in here already going on that I can tackle later on with the entrance and stuff so yeah, I guess we are going to do this here. No, also let me change the song. I just put down so many songs and I was quite sure that there are only 
a few that I don't like, but it's as always, it's coincidence that half of the songs are not great. It's such a freaking thing. Anyways, I hope it's not too annoying, even though I find it pretty annoying already. Um, anyways, okay, so we're going to lay out first the area where we want to build that habitat. I'm gonna make this rather big for uh, a flamingo habitat, but this is also down to the fact uh, that we want to have the golf course in here, so that means we need some space. Um, so where is the backstage is over here as well. Okay, so let me just fill that in and now we should be able to just drag that down here and connect this. So that's the basic setup for the habitat. However, oh god, the African have uh, elephant is going to have um, offspring, which is good. Whoa, bacterian camel. Bacterian camel is going to... F what the hell? Yeah, just fight for your alpha status. That's fine. You can you can do that. That's awesome. I don't care too much. Cool. Now, also, I want to have a little bit of water because they have a demand of water anyway. So I want to have a little pond in the middle where we have the mini golf course kind of going around. And I also want to feature like a little bit of an, a water area anyways in here. So protesters have arrived in my zoo. Why the hell are they? Because of that one. Are you kidding? They are stressed all the time, so that doesn't... Ah, uh, whatever. I I couldn't care less, to be honest. What's that? Oh, look at this! It's a, a Valentine's uh, Easter egg. That is so cool. Wait a second, I need to step, snap that. That is so good. I mean, do we have more of those? How the hell? That's a, such a cool feature. How did they... Is this like in, in every habitat where there is enough space for it? I, I get I, I swear guys um, I, I didn't do that on my own this is this just popped up in here like all of a sudden I mean that is so cool from the Valentine's Day all right okay I'm gonna I take a second one that's actually pretty cool didn't know that I really did not know that okay so let's do the path thing first um it's gonna be interesting how we can tackle this exactly because obviously they cannot play so they will um, we will have kind of the guidance for uh, the mini golf course. This is kind of the, the middle path that goes through the course. Um, while we do have... Okay, I, I cannot do it that way. So let's do it a bit more simple. And then it goes all the way around here. Imagining we have a little course there in the middle. Not really sure where to go, but yeah. So let's go all the way there. Awesome. So we do need a little ticket booth uh, where you can get your stuff and I do want to make sure that this is also the... Oh yeah, underpriced. Uh, tell me more. I, I like underpriced because that means... Uh, there we go. Uh, that means I can raise them even more. Let's, let's go quite high because I don't know what exactly they mean with underpriced. So let's see if it kind of works out that way. Right, we've done that. I love it. Um, really cool. Now I let's me first move this little bin here. Um, so that's the entrance, and I want to have like okay. First of all, we are going to have the entrance. That's going to be right here, and then we're going to build the staff path. Uh, first of all, delete that one. Uh, I guess I'm gonna create it like this, and then we are going to make like a straight path that goes and connects into here while we do have like a kitchen that goes right next to here because we do all know what happens if we don't have a kitchen close to a building not a good one not a big do we need a big one though i i think we don't they prepare also for one animal species at a time one should be enough let's stay on that grid though and at a guest facility which is going to be information kiosk over here it's going to be information center which is where you can grab your staff um, for like, you know, the, the golf, uh, how they called even, um, the sticks, golf sticks, I guess. How they called even sticks, I don't know. Um, so, there we go, we just put another money thing next to here, and we're gonna build that pretty simply now, uh, with a concrete wall, and we're gonna, gonna theme that up a little bit more, uh, later, but because I, I wanna make sure that this episode is not going to be, like, let's see, what do we do here? Red-ish building style. Do we have anything else that we went with? It's like this kind of pinkish tone, which I like quite a bit. So, this is kind of recolorable, isn't it? No, it's not. Uh, so, let's go for the flexi color one. Uh, nope, material, property, flexi color. Are we getting... Yeah, we are earning money. That's fine. Is that still the... And well, yeah, let's let them just fight. I don't care. I really don't care because for the camels, that's all okay. They can still live together and um, it's all fine. 
Now, where do we just have the, there we go. That's the window pan we need. And I guess I'm gonna build it that way, just simply. And we're going to do it that way, this way. And I'm, I'm gonna make like one big building out of that. And then, oh, that's, oh my lord, that's actually pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. And then we're gonna give this a proper housing over here. Uh, I wonder though, yeah, we can do it that way, but we still need to make sure that we do, I think it should work if I do it that way. Let's see. I could make it that way. So we are going to have this frame here. Let's do like a steady wall, another steady wall. And then we are getting in with like this frame again and another steady wall. And I guess this is going to be the entrance then. I'm going to do it that way. Don't worry guys, I explain in a second what I'm doing over here. I, I just, oh, you have seen that from the thumb. I have, again, as always, no idea what the thumbnail will look like, but uh, this time I didn't want to, didn't want to leave it, leave it out. Uh, so let's do it that way. And we're gonna just uh, close this all off now. Again, one thing I learned also recently, it's always better to just put a wall in here instead and just put a wall, uh, a kind of a door on top of it because honestly, mm, I call it goes away. Honestly, this is the better solution. Yes, people do run into the wall and it looks pretty stupid. I, I do get that, but honestly, it would look even more stupid if you have this all open and it makes the whole thing look so much better in a, in a second. Uh, by just having that and uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm just a big fan now of putting these things in like so. Uh, in case you're wondering why I do this, I just wanna make sure that the people take the real door then instead of just walking through it. Now this is going to be the interior, um, which is going to have, first of all, a barrier. And we're going to take the uh, one-way glass because privacy is quite a thing with the flamingos as well. So I don't want them to be too stressed. Now this is going to be I think I, uh, I should be able to just drag it all the way. Yep, that's enough. And then we're going to, to just bring it all the way up so that we need it. And we need to do the little switcheroo. Right, that's the right direction. So we have a little bit of a nice entrance area and that's kind of the, the, the entrance to the golf course anyway. So that's the, that's the door that guides you in. And now let's just give that a very, very simple roofing. Uh, I wanna go with a very subtle um, is that like one that is even more subtle? No, I think that's the that's the most subtle one we have now. Okay, also in terms of height, I think, can we just have that like a little step? Yeah, so that's the one I will most likely take for here. Which kind of roof did we take here? Okay, that's fine, that is, it's matching. That's also fine. Good, we're going to put that in like so. I'm wondering though, you know what? No, we, we take that corner like this, and I'm gonna take the same corner over here like so. Oops, nope, that was the wrong positioning. Um, I'm gonna keep it that way. Uh, uh, shouldn't we? No, we should We should definitely not. We should definitely try to have this correctly in. Is that, oh wait, that's the wrong piece. Rudy, what are you messing up here? All right, this is where we need to put it in. Our animals have some severe issues. I need to quickly check what's going on there. I could have just moved it, I guess, but yeah. Low welfare, low welfare, low welfare, animals, low welfare, what the hell? Okay, that's actually stress, right? Yeah, the zoo is getting pretty crowded. I think one thing we need to do is, okay, quickly replace that one. Uh, we need some more security guards, uh, which I should do. Um, so one security guy over here. And then we need some of the signs. Uh, let's go here. This, uh, some of the signs, some of the signs. Are they, are they even in here? Are they, oh no, they're in facility. Oh, God. Just don't do it. Where are the keep quiet signs? Um, oh, we got some offspring, awesome. Where are the freaking signs? Hello? Hello? I don't even know in which tab they are. So is that like, would that be guest stuff? No. Would that be, actually why are they so, okay. Is this like, okay, no, it's not. Would that be in Vince Bench's security? Yeah, there we go. So, first of all, guys, you need to shut up a little bit because you are way too loud. So let's do it that way so that they do know that they do have to shut up. Um, because otherwise that's going to be too loud. And we're going to give them also a hint to not drop any stuff in here. Um, same goes for you. Oh, just oh, all have offspring. 
god, that's a weak animal. Never mind. This is the baby elephant. Oh my lord, this is a... Well, it's not even a silver one. It's... it's Oh no, it is a silver one. Look at that. Cool, we have a silver one. That is great. Silver one and, and all the babies, all the small babies. It's gonna be really crowded in here. Yeah, see, that's what I meant. Um... You need to get rid of some of the animals later, but that's fine. Size is like eight. Oh my god. Uh, no pity, no pity, nope, nope. Um, also, oh well, you can you can do your thing later, but uh, no pity, nope, no inbreeding, no inbreeding in my zoo. So good. Animal is stressed. Uh, god, this is yeah. Okay, I need to make sure that people are also keeping quiet on here. And we're gonna continue our construction of the mini golf course in a sec, guys. Uh, we're in the wrong tab. Where is that stuff? Okay, here's the keeping keep quiet sign. Now let's do this and hello. I said do not put this here. So I wanna I wanna just make sure that they all are keeping their mouth shut and my animals are not getting too stressed because honestly, why are you stuck? Uh, honestly, I I think this is a rather nice building in terms of, of making it work. Um, and I, I really would love to have some glass pieces of the um, construction pieces that also one sided. So because usually glass is um, not helping in terms of getting animals uh, saved from the stress. So what the hell? Uh, yeah, OK, wait, 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 I'm going to fix that because I am a bit annoyed by them. So how many animals do we have in this habitat? Anyhow, it's is it, is it three animals? Yes. You know what we do? We are going to see who is um, who is who. So you have odd as your mate. That is fine. So you can do whatever you want. Uh, with Odd. I'm going to sell you. How old are you, though? Six point. Mm. But wait a second. Isn't isn't that one? Taban is... Taban is having no mate. Do you have any siblings or whatever? Odd. Current mate odd. Okay, w w what the hell is going on here? Is that a new female camel I got? And where is it though? Where is the one you're fighting for? Oh, it's in the back here. So let's see. What is going on with here? Current mate. Um, start book. Parents too. Unknown father. Unknown children. Atlan. Okay, so Atlan is the one we need to get rid of. Taban can stay then. Right. So Atlan, you have to unfortunately have to go. Uh, I'm so sorry for that, but I am a bit annoyed by this. And what we are doing now, you are going to have a lot of fun now, mate. Oops. Uh, how old are you, by the way? Did I do a huge mistake? No, that's all fine. You get no contraceptives. That is fine. Uh, you can also do whatever you want, but just don't mate with your son because he's gone. And we are now getting a lot of female camels because I want to have more children in here. So it is the B B B B B B Bactrian camel. Let's do. This. Oh wait, I'm in the wrong. I am in the wrong tab. Yeah, no, I. Uh, Bactrian camel. There we go. Filter that. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We want to make, make, make some females happening. No good, no good, no good. Um, no good stats, no good stats. These stats are okay. I'm gonna adopt this one. These stats are okay too. Uh, these ones are better. So that is it. Hello, all the timber wolves in here as well. I gotta think that's the second one I put in anyways. Um, I'm gonna put these. Hello. Thank you. Move. 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 Move into this habitat, please. And the second one needs to be moved. Move, 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 move in here too. Is that, did that work? That did work. Okay, hit play again. Should be fine. Research is done. Just to get all these notifications away. Right, that's been done. Cool, okay, so we've done that. Let's get back into our mini golf station uh, because that should make things uh, look a bit more pretty in a bit uh, because it doesn't look pretty at this po uh, moment in time. It, it does definitely not. Now, okay, so I did a huge mistake already. I didn't do anything about your user interaction on YouTube, which I should definitely do because I want you to be part of it all here. So um, here's me with the question of the day. And I actually have no question of the day. It's basically we have Valentine's Day. I like I don't want to make you this. <laughs> so if you're enjoying this day, 
that's totally fine. That's awesome. Uh, I just wanted to make the point. I don't really think this day is any good for relationships, if you will, if it's something you you need to show someone else your love. I, I strongly believe that if you want to show someone else your love, you can do that every single day, every single hour, every single minute. You don't need a dedicated day for that. I mean, it's, it's kind of fine to remind people. But what's your opinion on that? What's your opinion on the Valentine's Day? Do you think it's good? Do you Did you do something nice for people today? I mean, it's never bad to do anything nice for people you know um but apparently it's it's something that you can do whatever you want whenever you want uh and you should do but well i, I i'd love to hear your opinion on that now okay this is all done but oh, stop it stop it with the research awesome okay this is all done awesome 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 let's see what else i got here as a treat no treat really oh wait i did this okay so next one next one collect unclaimed reward what is the reward for me 25 thanks for that i guess uh oh well let's contribute later again all right we've done the basics to it mm, before we put the animals in which should be no big deal i'm gonna prepare a easy cost template so i can just uh prepare more of them it should be very simple though let's start with this one because i do want to make sure that this looks kind of nice um and is always flat okay so the first thing we're going to do we're going to use the plaster uh i think two by one what's the two by four two by four is the right one okay so we're going to use that one and i want to make it look like a little bit greenish but weathered so something like that it's a bit weathered so that's that's the that's the deal about it like let's do it that way and then it gets some nice kind of curb around which is going to be a bit more like beige but also weathered in a way here we go nice that's it and gonna give this a proper edge so that is kind of the basic thing okay um i should have just kind of put that in the middle because that would have been so much easier uh you know what i do i need to just do it again and oops f it in the middle there we go now it snaps to the middle and we are good we are good that makes things easier wait is that in the middle though because i i almost feel like it's not like let's do it that way and then same over here so just as of so and i'm wondering what happens if i copy that like so it's all it's really in the middle that's fine okay so we are gonna do this exactly like so um because then we can use that thing to easily plop them together um but we're going to first of all make a corner now which is going to be hopefully quite simple um, by just uh, putting it in like so, reduce the size, I'm gonna put that corner in, awesome. And the only thing we need to change, obviously, is this thing over here. Gonna copy and gonna use that one instead. Just rotate it and it should be exactly this length, which it is, awesome. Gonna have a little trick working around over here to make that corner look decent right done so corner piece is also done we have a tiny bit of z fighting going on on these pieces which i don't like so let's just raise and lower that a bit Alrighty. so we've got a corner and the next thing is going to be like a swooping left right thing like a zigzag zig zigity zigzag which um hopefully is also looking quite okay let's do it that way and we're gonna just uh, do it like okay we should do it a bit more like so and I'm gonna put the same one like just over here. I guess that should be fine. Pull it out a bit more and then we should be good if we just do it that way. Hopefully I measured this uh, like somewhat correctly. Oh well, I think we need to do it just like so. Okay, that's it. And now let's just oops, uh, bring them to that corner so here it goes awesome now that should be easy by just you know what we do we just go oh, whoops yeah well that's fine i guess we just pull that over and oh, it's too long okay never mind then we're going to delete all of these and we use again the other piece because that makes the thing way easier now um why is that even green now uh i want it to be again in my color over here awesome now that is it and we're going to do it that way click and we have it in here by the way click i also need to turn on my lights in my room it's gonna be a bit dark um same goes over here 
And don't worry guys um, about the wooden things on the ground. We don't really would notice them later on because they will be in the ground. No, I just have them so I can move these things easier around and just build something out of that. But yeah, for the moment uh, it's just, wait, don't do that. Um, here we go. And yeah, well, that is easy. Easy done. Okay, cool. Now these are the basic things first. The rest needs to be custom anyways. Okay, so these are the things and now uh, we need to unfortunately split them from the group all. Simply that I can use that a bit easier. So split this as well. Uh, great, so we are going to start with course number one, which is going to be sitting right over here. Um, I think I even need to Oh, well, f yeah, well, we can we can just uh, do the terrain work a bit easier by uh, just having some soil already going on. I mean, potentially that's going to make the whole thing easier, but uh, no, let's do it that way. And I want to have all the sand in the middle to make that lake at least look a little bit nicer. We can also put some coarse sand in there, right? Now, we have this course over here, which is a bit in the in the shadow right now, in the shade, I should say. Um, I'm gonna just make this a freaking simple course, a, just a straight course. That's all we need, um, because everything else will just, uh, yeah, you know, turn out the way it should be anyway. So, well, that's way too wide. This is the one I wanted to go for. Hopefully, that's going to be, wait, nope. Um, here we go. I'm just gonna... Make like so. I will also do some more courses uh, off screen. So I'm, I'm not going to make all these courses uh, today uh, because it's going to take way too long and it's going to be way too finicky. So uh, yeah, I'm going to do it that way. Now let's uh, just copy around. We're going to put another one here into the corner. Also, I'm not going to make too many of those um, because again, that's maybe a bit too much, I guess. So let's just do it that way. Oh, we just have another one. And uh, I'm gonna bring an end to it. Oh wait, I should have done this first, like so. Right, we need that corner, and I'm gonna put uh, another piece in, which is that one. Oh god, why is no no snow now? Oh god. Okay, I think I need to I need to shorten that a bit. Um, because oh well, we have to wait until the snow is gone. That's a bit of a pity because that makes makes working a bit unfortunate now. We are in September, that means we will have to survive to a lot of snow now. This is very unfortunate. Okay, so the next course will be just that one, which is going to be right by the riverbank here. Uh, it's almost half on the path, which I don't know if that's correct or not, but I'm going to put this here. And um, yeah, I think it would even be easier to just copy that thing over. And just align that here. Oh, I'm I'm still effing the whole thing. That's why. And again, I forgot to turn on the angle snap. Are you even kidding me? Okay, so right. I don't know why I always forget about the angle snap, but um, that should be fine. Hopefully, also it's not too bad for you to watch now because for me it's freaking dark. It's like super crazily dark at the moment. Um, but I oh well, I hope that this is going to be better. Now let me just grab that one. There's going to be another course that goes over here. Right, like so. And then we can just make it easily. Wait, nope. Uh, it should be like this and like so. That's kind of a funny course as well. Um, we're gonna go with that one. Yeah, and we also, obviously, we need to put some obstacles in between. But I think this is the first thing I want to go with. Um, let me Let me just quickly grab that piece again oh my lord what's that give me this one yep and we're gonna put this uh, right here right there just as a ending piece alrighty so that's it and we also we need to make sure that we now uh, finish off that episode as soon as we can because honestly that's yeah that's quite a thing I think that's uh, that's quite cool to to have um now, all right, uh, I want to make sure that this is kind of nice indeed. Um, <laughs> how do I do this? Uh, first of all, yeah, we still have snow. It will be it will be cloudy only uh, next, but that doesn't really help. I think I'm going to put some heaters down because we will need them anyways in this habitat. And um, I'm not sure if we have enough energy. How oh, well, see, that's what I meant. Uh, okay. Mm, we're gonna put the heater just here next to the 
area, right? And then let's see where's the energy level going as well. We're going to put another one here. And these ones are not powered, but I think we can change that by just having these two -ish here. Yep. And then uh, I'm just going to put something in here anyhow, because we need... Wait, hello. Let me just... Yeah, there we go. Uh, we do have that one in. That means we could easily put a facility and we could put don't we just like the wind machine thing is not big enough okay so i could easily just move that very close to the wall just make it even like almost disappear there we go just put that down and it should be all good i mean okay weather weather changed anyways which is good um Flamingos. We need to get the flamingos, guys. Uh, it's gonna make the things easier. And this is going to be the flamingo. F like flamingo. F F F. Was it flamingo though? Like F, or was there a greater flamingo? That's why. Oh my god. Yes. Okay. Um. Like okay. Sex doesn't matter. All right. There we go. So we have. Yeah. <sighs> gold one very expensive one um is there any good about this i guess not oh well that's fine that's really not fine uh that is actually pretty dope get me this one um another male whale. we need some females now a good female wait that's a good female give me that female then failed oh well eight eight was maybe too uh, yeah, well, okay, let's go for female and filter it. Come on, do <laughs> please, 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 do it. Right. Are we just, are you just telling me we've got two females? Adopt that one. Just adopt it. Come on. Move. I'm not willing to pay more than, than a thousand for, like, seriously, it's not going to happen. So where's the other flamingo? Oh, we still have a lot of my old flamingos. Oh, I... I did not even have to buy them. Oh, whatever. Hello, my lord. Move. It's one of the in inbred ones, I guess. Move it into this habitat. For fuck. Damn it. Mm -hmm -hmm. Trade center. Yeah, we can. We can move you in as well. I don't know if I if I moved someone else in. Okay. So Malika is in. Is there any like female one? Another one? Because I. Like another one. Okay, so we still do only have the males. But didn't I have another female one? Is this on this side? No, it's not. Okay, so I only have one. What is going on with the people here? Huh? Why are you stuck? Are you kidding? Hello? Like everyone is stuck. What the hell is going on? Huh? Why is everyone stuck? Um, okay. I don't really have a clue why. So everyone got stuck somehow. Um, that's not good. Okay, let's see if the walls are high enough. So I'm not sure if I laid it out correctly enough. Yeah, I did. Okay, so that's fine. Um, now enrichment is not really... We need some more rock. Okay, let's do the, the thing quickly. And then we are about to end this episode already. Uh, you're going to have some rock in here if you really desperately need it. Uh, too less soil, you say. Okay, I'm going to give you some more soil. And we're going to give you some smoothie, smoothie rock in here. So if... Okay, so gonna make this all rock is that like seriously the thing rock more heavy rock in here hello okay so i'm gonna have to work a lot with rocks um but yeah so that's that's how it looks okay mm, now let's see which kind of plants they like um europe and temperate and europe temperate i'm gonna go with europe temperate because that's gonna be the closest to what we have here anyway so let's say biome mm, temperate temperate and we're gonna go for europe because that's what we have here so we can basically do uh, the thing we want to do and make this look uh, this area look a lot nicer than it does at the moment um well the game didn't like that action too much hopefully this one is going to work out Oh my god, no, it's it's definitely too heavy. Okay, I'm gonna use a bit more of the ash tree then. 
Uh, this seems to be also pretty much doing it already, but well. So, um, is there anything else? Elm tree, are you? Oh, you're nice. You're nice. I like you quite a bit. So I'm, I'm not going to overdo it, hopefully, with plants, because um, that's, that's going to look stupid anyway. So I'm not doing that, but uh, why is that happening? So we're going to put some uh, lilies down, some water lilies here and there. We're going to make this all a bit nicer looking. Mm, I don't want to put down too much, but we have these things we could use as bushes. Uh, and now we are getting already close to the level of lightning is what they what these guys like. So I am willing to put some more stuff down here. So hello. Um, this one is going to be hidden in the second uh, area over here. Let me just pause the game because I feel like that's kind of a nice screenshot likable area here. Um, I'm going to make this like a nice little screenshot. Uh, it's not looking too nice at this point in time, but uh, maybe we can just do it that way. It's going to be a mini golf course thing. Um, oh, you know what we we did mess up before we before we do that we need to oh my god that's my my mistake uh, construction and then we go to actually we need to go to uh, material and metal and then we take this one and I'm gonna bring that in and I guess we can also use that because it's recolorable as the starting point and then we're just gonna use the other side of it awesome there we go. And then we're going to put just down an obstacle, a simple one just down here. So it's looking a bit more like a, a proper little golf course thing. Even though the plate has to be like, I think, wider. But we're going to do more about this in the future. So let me just take that screenshot again. Oops. Oh god, my movement was like super silly. But yeah, so that's going to be nice and looking good. Also, I could just do it that way. I don't know which which one looks more interesting indeed, but I, I feel like this could do the job. I mean, that's the crazy flamingo golf course. It's not gonna look great, but I am doing a bit more in uh, off screen and then we will have a bit more in next episode. But I'm gonna leave it here, guys. This should be how it is. I need to fix somehow how the guests are stuck because this will not be good for my money because they will all go out and have a crazy refund. I'm gonna fix this now, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's episode of starting our mini golf area, which is going to look a lot better, trust me. Now, have a good time on Valentine's Day. I am gonna see you tomorrow when it's all about Koali Beach again and trust me it's gonna be insane trust me so see you there guys and bye bye alrighty guys thank you for watching this video I really do appreciate that as always uh, make sure to check out also my social media channels you can find me everywhere under at Rudy Man Camel also big thanks to the crew uh, you can see it on the left hand side right now and as always if you want to see more you click that card on the top right and if you want to stick around because you like the stuff you've just saw you just saw whatever you know what I mean just uh, click the sub button which is to the bottom right of the screen right now but everything else I can say is have a great time and see you next time bye guys